stop. I'm gonna stop the story and stop the story. Stop the story. Oh, come on, load. Why are you taking so long? Now, why are you so slow? Oh, I gotta stop the story. No updates now. Uh, oh, oh, come on. Come on, come on, I gotta stop it. He's coming, he's coming up the stairs. He's coming up the stairs, I have to stop. No, come on, stop, 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 stop. Go away, call 911. Somebody call 911. Oh, jeez, no, yeah, I'll go. No, no. Jasmine? Yes? Alexandria, do you have a quick second to talk? I don't feel like talking to the press right now. I'm so. not depressed. I actually work with your father really closely at Destiny Publishing. Okay. Did he mention any short stories that he was working on? It could be his best work yet. I have to go right now. May I? This actually might be of worth a lot of money. It seems like you might need it. It could help you out a lot. Excuse the me? expenses got... on the house taxes. Ugh, you funeral. got some nerve. May I? It could help you out a lot. How long are you in town for? A couple of days, a week, what does it matter? Here's my car. If you happen to find anything, just give me a call. Whatever. Jasmine, where did you get this? In your room, Daddy. Why did you bring it down here? To play with them. But it's not a toy. It's a very expensive collectible. It's worth a lot of money. Do not play with this again, ever. Uh, Yasmin, I'm busy right now. I'm writing. I'm writing. I just put it over there. I'll look at it later, OK? Jasmine, what are you doing here? Papa, ¿por qué tú no me quieres? Speak English, Jasmine. We don't speak Spanish anymore in this house. I lost my accent. You can lose your accent. Listen, practice this. She sells seashells by the seashore. Can you do that? She sells she's Ugh, whatever. You've been hanging around that maid too much. You're speaking too much Spanish. You need to go out with the Anglo boys and learn better English. At least she cares. Pass word. Just me. Frankenstein. How pathetic. Oh, my dear Yasmin, as you are watching this, uh, I'm most likely dead. Or maybe you've broken into my computer. <laughs> I'm going to go with dead for now. Listen, I, I, I know you think I've always been hard on you or, or ignored you, but at a certain point, you did the same to me. Have you ever read any of my books? Even one? Did you ever show any interest in my work? 
So, as I see it, we're even. It's tit for tat. Yes, yeah, I mean, I know in death, families always want to have a moment of resolution where they get together and say, I wish we'd said this to one another while we were still alive, and then we'd have closure. My point of view is, if we didn't say it back then, we ain't going to say it now. Yes, I mean, whatever resolutions you wanted to have or, or hope to have with me, I, I guess they're not going to happen. Now, yes, I mean, I need to talk about the will. Um, it's going to happen someday. You're going to get everything. Everything in the house is yours. The books are the most valuable thing, and all the movie rights and the royalties that go with it, you get all that. But let me tell you about my most recent project. Oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be big, so big, it's going to be the biggest thing I've ever done. I bought a 17th century book on black magic. And in that book, they teach you how to cast magical spells by writing stories about them. And when you read these stories aloud, they come to life. So it's going to be much bigger than anything that you see 3D men in tights hanging from walls somewhere. No, this is going to be so much bigger. Because when you read these stories out loud, they come to life. You can have a real vampire in your own kitchen. Now, if you do this, remember, you don't. Oh, my God. He's gone crazy. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the audiobook of my famous short story collection, Monsters in the Closet, based on a 17th century book of black magic. Our first story takes place on a misty night with the smell of mold everywhere.
my god, Twinkie. Yes. Mm. Oh, these are... <clears throat> Not how I remember them tasting. Ugh. What? Dude, you okay? What is that wonderful smell? Is that... Is that coming from... Is that coming from you? Please, please be lasagna in your pockets, please. <laughs> Why did I do that? I just meant to smell it. Hey, stop. No, don't. Spit it out. Spit it, spit it. Good girl. Chris? 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 Oh, Chris. Not you, too. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, I'm not gonna finish it. You can have a rest. 
So you will not believe what I just did. Uh, wait, no, yeah, maybe you would. Yeah. Right. Hey, do you mind if we stick together? This is kind of... I mean, are they going to eat us? Are we going to eat them? Is there a cure for this shit, or is it, like, herpes? You know, I probably should have told you this before, but... I used to have the biggest crush on you. Yeah, not so much right now. So, how long have you been a zombie? Are there any rules I should know? You know, you really haven't changed all that much, come to think of it. What? Oh, baby. It's okay, I'm not gonna hurt you. I know I would be scared too, but everything is gonna be all right. I... <gasps> fuck! Oh, fuck! Fuck, did I just do that? I didn't mean- Chris! Sh shit, I didn't mean to do that. No. No. No, I won't let you have her! Come on, come with me. Come on, we can get away from them. No, leave her alone! Get out, get away! I won't let you have her! Well, hide in here. I know just a place. Shh, shh, be very quiet. Be very quiet. You won't find us. Stay right there. Wait for me. I'm gonna lock the door. Um. They won't find us in here. I promise you. Come on. Let's get away from the door. Come with me. You have to be very still. Be very quiet. That's a good girl. Shh, 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 shh. Be a good girl. Be a good girl. Wait right here with me. We will... Shit. It's all right. We'll wait them out. They'll go away. They'll go away. They can't get in. The door is locked. I promise you, they can't get in. It's gonna be all right. Just stay with me. Stay very still. Be very quiet. Stay with me. I've got you. I've got you. It's okay. No. No. Please go away. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Don't worry. I've got you. I won't let them hurt you. I won't let you hurt her. It's gonna be all right. Just stay right here with me. No. 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 You can't have her. Please. For God's sake, leave her alone. Sorry. Please don't hate me. No. Well, that's pretty. See, there's always something to smile about. The sun is out, the air is... Well, it's pretty rank, actually, but... Over there, quick. Eat lead, zombie bitch. Folks, wasn't that a great story? A little bit scary. Them zombies, you gotta stay away from them because they're after your brains. But let me tell you how to make a great egg salad sandwich. First, 
you go to the grocery store and you go to where they have all these little plastic containers on the shelves and you find one that says egg salad and then you buy a loaf of bread and then you buy a, a head of lettuce and you put them all together and that's how you make egg salad sandwich. And don't try to give one to a zombie. A zombie wants a brain salad sandwich. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, is anyone downstairs? I said hello. This next story, we see a young woman looking longingly at her empty backyard. Honey, isn't this so exciting? Oh, it's Beautiful. I can't believe we did it. I can't believe I we know. actually finally bought our first house. After all that freaking paperwork, it was yeah. so ridiculous. Yeah. Oh my God, I swear the minute I told them that I was South African, that was it. They were yeah. like, well, now we need extra deposits yeah, and, and so. extra guarantors. And it was just like, it a was little, ridiculous. little bit of xenophobia. Yeah, like a little bit, honestly. Yeah. But still, I'm so excited. This is so amazing. <laughs> I love you, Shane. <laughs>
This is great, right? I mean, the appraisal looks pretty good. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. I mean, it's it's just that I wasn't expecting so many wires and holes. A lot of a lot of holes. Yeah. I mean, look, it's it's gonna be hard work. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie to you. Right. But it's not gonna be a lot of work. Just some elbow grease. Uh, you know, painting some walls, spackle some holes, uh, replace the carpet. Fix the banister. I mean, if you put some tiles in, I think that would be, or you know that. Yeah, yeah. and you know we probably just have to patch the roof, not like replace the whole thing. It's gonna be fine. Kind of looks like it needs to be replaced, but um, you know what? You're you you're right. Honestly, you know what? We we worked so hard. We bought this house, and that's all that matters. Yeah. And as long as we have a shower, and and some running water, that's you know you check the plumbing. I right. am going to check the plumbing too. That's that's on the list. So we don't know if we have a shower right now? We will. We will. We will. We will know. You know how we'll know? Because we hired a contractor. We did. We did that. And that's so great because you emailed the contractor like I asked you to, right? He's going to he's going to fix all of this. This is this is fun. What am I stressing about? We, um, we hired the we hired the contractor, right? Who? Well, who? The contractor, <clears throat> I sent you his email address and you said that you contacted him uh, and that he was going to fix everything. <laughs> um, babe, I, I, I spent uh, all of our money on, on buying the house, so there's no money left for a contractor. We don't have a contractor. Babe, it's fine. I, I took shop in high school. You did, honey, and, and you got an A+. Plus. I right. got a letter with a plus sign after it every semester. So that's a good sign. Right. Yeah, that's that's fine. You uh, right, you know what? Okay. You, are you sure? Look, anything that we need to find out, we look up on the YouTube. That's and that way we don't have to pay some dumb plumber to come down and have a stare at his ass crack while he like hits on you and does shoddy plumbing. Right. We just do it ourselves and we don't have to anybody because the internet is free the internet is free you're right so I mean, cute you're you so cute. we're gonna things. DIY we're gonna make this house so cute I love you Shruby I love you more no that knows no that knows you're gonna make it greasy okay, right. okay. <laughs> done work okay you you do that Okay, so you're saying that, right, that after I nail that one, after I've sanded, and then, yeah, I know, okay. Right, but what happens to the spackle? I gotta let you go. Shmoopy, what happened? You dropped it, you were too busy on the phone, so you're not concentrating. You're right, I'm sorry. Let's just keep going, okay? Come on, Shmoopy. All right, Shmoopy. I love you, Shmoopy. Love you. I love you more. No, really, I love you no, more. No, I love you no, more. No, really, it's I love you. Okay, honey, do you have all the slats in place? Yeah, slats are in. Perfect. Nails are through the hinges. Awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, I think this is pretty well hung. I just have a question. Why yeah? is there so much space between the top and the sides that kind of defeats the entire no. purpose of having no. a door? Baby, trust me, I, l I looked at the diagnostic blueprints for the door frame, okay? This is, you did. Yeah, there's supposed to be a, at least one inch of the space. The diagnostic blueprints yeah, of said, the door they said told you to have space. Minimum one inch between door frame and door for ventilation in case of a fire. That's what it said. I'm gonna, so all right, I'm gonna I'm, trust you. I, that's, this is a, this is definitely at least one inch. You're really smart. You you're, are, you're no. You're, you're, you're adorable. <laughs> that's too good, I can't stop that, that's way too good. God, what the hell? 
yeah, I told you that was wrong, but you just didn't want to listen to me. So I, I, maybe if you just listened to me sometimes, you, you would get things right. Why but did you tell me that it was wrong? Yeah, I said, like, you're doing the whole thing wrong. I thought... Uh, like, three times, but I, you just ignored me. Do you have the blueprint there? Um, you know, I guess I'll find it. Schmoop, what happened? I thought you were looking at the... At Smoopy. Okay, I was making it up. I'm sorry, I was confused. You. <laughs> I was just no, playing. No, you're such a playful <laughs> one. Playing. Stop it. Stop. No, stop. <laughs> stop. No, you stop. No, you no, stop. No, stop. Seriously. No, stop. stop. Stop hitting me. No, can you? St I'm trying to. Can you stop? Stop hitting if me. If you I'm hit me, I'm gonna hit you stop back. Stop hitting me. Stop. I'm trying to. As long as I get the last hit. Being like difficult, that's fine. Did you just call me difficult? What? No. Me, if you call me difficult, I'll I gold said your divine. eyes out. I said you're being divine, Schmoopy. Stop being so silly. Honey. Yes. Why are you painting a Z across our brand new wall? Well, because, darling, that is the most efficient way to paint a wall. Um, no. Actually, according to howtopaintyourhouse.com, it most certainly says that you start with a W. Well, Schmoopy, when I was in shop in high school getting pluses on all my grades all six years, it was always with a Z shape. Okay. Well... I really do think that it should um, be a W. I think the Z looks way better. Really? Well, yeah. I think the W looks better. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? The man huh? says huh? Z. <laughs> you don't even have as much pain on me as I have on you, and you've gotten three passes. Yeah, well, I'm just Look, being nice and trying Z not to stuff up better. here. Z shape. Z. I'm a nice person, and you are. You can't a even get a W on bag. your husband's chest. Yeah, I've maybe got, like, I'm trying five to, Z's to get a W. All you now. You're almost whiter than this you wall. Yeah. Your hair glove is falling off. <laughs> Look, Z shapes all day. Z shapes all day. Z shapes all day. The man says Z, and calls crocodile tears. Crocodile tears, schmoops. I am so sorry. That was totally a mistake. I, I don't even know if I believe that, to be honest with you. Schmoopy, you know I would never try to hurt you. Who's my favorite Schmoopy? I love you, Schmoopy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I love you too, Schmoopy. No, I love you more, Schmoopy. No, I love you more, Schmoopy. No, it's me. I love you That's more. That's a face look amused. What? Do I look amused? You look like you're just having so much fun, like me. So, Schmoopy, would you mind handing me the, that bucket, please? So I can keep working up here? You want the bucket? Who's my favorite Schmoop? You want the bucket? Yeah, could you hand me the bucket? You want it? Yeah, that'd be really nice. Okay. Schmoopy, I love you. I love you. You're my favorite. <laughs> Who's got the best nose in all the land? The Thank you, Schmoopy. Oops. That's okay! I love you still, Smoopy! But if next time you could just hand me the bucket when I ask you to actually hand me the bucket, I'd really appreciate it, and then maybe you wouldn't come crashing down on your head while I'm working! I love you! Please keep up your good work! Thank you, Smoop!
love you, Schmoopy. Fuck you. What? Love you. Uh, time to nail. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Schmoopy. We're almost done. Just a little bit more pain and spackles. We're almost there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> fuck you too, Smoopy! Oh, till death do us fucking part, bitch. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Fuck! <laughs> God damn it! Ow! <laughs> fuck you, Smoopy! God damn it! <laughs> Ah. Uh. 
Isn't that something with all that blood flying around? Mm. I'm not sure I'm going to eat my cereal now, but that raises the question. Is cereal soup? You know, when you're a kid, you made soup out of stones. Why can't you make soup out of cereal? If you really want to, you know, there's a cereal that kind of has a rabbit whenever you see it on TV. You can make soup out of rabbit. So why can't you make soup out of cereal? You know, why don't we put some carrots and celery in it and have the cereal with carrots and celery? Then it really would be soup, wouldn't it? You know, chop in some celery and some onions and some carrots, and now you've got cereal soup. Well, I don't think you'd like cereal with uh, carrots and celery in it now. I don't think so. So let's just come to a conclusion. Cereal is Get away from me. Get away from me. Yeah! <laughs> This is so unfair. Tiffany, life is unfair. But you are being more than unfair. Look, fair is my middle name. Just ask my bridge partners or even the guys on the trading floor. You saw me talk to the chauffeur the other day. I told him he has every right to be as rich as I am. All he has to do is work for it. I started my business with a couple of million dollars. He could do the same. But obviously, he's lazy. Otherwise, he wouldn't still be driving cars. He's not Mexican lazy, but still. He gets what he deserves. I get what I deserve. And you get what you deserve. And I deserve this. It's just a camping trip with my friends. And why haven't I ever met these friends? I mean. What are they like? They're nice people, Daddy. Nice. So you like one of them? Some cute boy, perhaps? Maybe. What's his name? Is it the Wellingworth? Thing? No, Daddy, you don't know him. His name is Vinny. <coughs> Vinny, oh Jesus. Are oh, you telling me he's Italian? He's really sweet. What does his father do? Okay, I, I don't know. I think he's a plumber. Oh, my God. Oh. Are you trying to give me a heart attack? All right, you know what? This is just... It's, it's just... All right, yeah, hang on. Yeah, wait a minute. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go shopping this weekend instead? Wouldn't you prefer a nice bracelet or a pretty dress? No. I want to go camping. I worked hard to get into the school that you wanted me to go to. You chose Princeton, not me. Don't I deserve a little bit of a reward? It's just a trip with my friends. You don't get it, sweetie. They're not your friends. They hate you. They hate me. We are what they would call one percenters. Your friends are... Not. They're the 99 belowers. And Vinny, he may even be a negative five. Look, your friends have been brainwashed into believing that you and I hate America. But in fact, it's them who hate America and everything it stands for. Now, really, if you want to go ahead and feel common, why don't you buy yourself a little Hermes bracelet or some little thing like that and forget about the camping okay. nonsense. First of all, Daddy, it's Hermes, second of all, in three months, I'm going to be in Princeton, making my own mistakes, getting drunk, failing midterms, eating pizza with the wrong fork. 
You're not going to be there to save me. I need to start learning from my own mistakes. It's just a weekend. Think of it as training wheels. Come, come on, Daddy. I've earned this. Fine, fine. But you're taking your cell phone, you're turning it on, and most importantly, call us if you need it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are the best daddy ever. Mm. Vinny, this is not going to end well. myself you must be very proud of yourself no no actually I just I didn't pee on myself I just sprayed beer all over <laughs> wait do you want to take a closer look so what's up what do you want to show me I got this this uh this thing for Tiffany oh yeah I saw you put it in your <sighs> yeah I'm kind of nervous it's a big weekend for me don't be nervous let me see it uh, all right, yeah, yeah definitely. Right. How sure. big is it? It's, it's not that big, Oh, but... you're probably being modest. Come on, just show me. Hold on. Oh, wait, okay. shh, shh, here she comes. Okay. Can we go somewhere else? Listen, you, uh, you having a good time? <laughs> uh, can you just give me a moment? Uh, we can go somewhere and have a talk. I just want to finish the conversation with Maureen. <sighs> Listen, just try to have fun. You're much prettier when you smile. We'll be right back. Why did you say that? That was so scary. <laughs> Just keep okay. Yeah, so, I mean, I know this is crazy, but um, I'm crazy about it. Mm. And I know that we've only been dating for like three months, but uh, I think I'm going to ask her to marry me. What? So yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, I'm going to do it this weekend. Oh, well, do you have it with you? Uh, yeah, I do. I mean, I've only been carrying around with me oh, all day. Oh, let me see it. Let me see it. But, oh, um, well, how are you going to do it? Are you going to get down on me? Are you going to just, like, spring it on her? Like, I, I don't know. <gasps> That's a... That is so amazing. Thanks. Oh, she's gonna love that. You think so? Is there something on it? Yeah, there's uh, an inscription I had them oh. um, put on it. That is so sweet. Uh, oh, yes, she's going to love that. Perfect find, absolutely. Thank you so much, I really appreciate that. I just had to tell somebody. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh,
You can forget about Princeton, maybe a community college if you're lucky. Remember this phrase, you want fries with that? You're gonna be saying that for the next 50 years of your life. You gave up your life for a Rifa baked Goomba who would bang your best friend if you turn your back on him. Boy, I'll say you made a mistake when I wasn't there watching you. I can't fix this. Now you go and you fix it. Tiffany, did you just shoot Vinny? that Hank and Vinny were in some weird love duet and that they killed each other. What? What are you talking about? Hank wasn't going anywhere. A misogynistic date rape drunk who barely got out of high school. Nobody is going to miss an idiot who works at Walmart. You're crazy. I heard you got into Penn State. Hey, it's not Princeton, but you're smart. Not as smart as me, but Get with the program, you know what's going on! What? what? Maureen, my daddy's lawyer can work miracles. Please, don't make the same mistake your friends made. What are you talking Stay about? Stay in your lane! Yeah.
right? My, my friends, they tried to kidnap me for ransom, and they went crazy and started shooting each other. I'm going to need a lawyer. Please help me. I don't know what to do. Please, please, please. Please help me. Tiff, Tiff, guess what I just got on my gender studies exam. You're not gonna believe this. A double D. <laughs> A double D, get it? <laughs> I just missed myself. I'm kidding, it's just fear. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, whatever. Can I call you back? Can we go somewhere else? You're not having fun. <laughs> no, Trevor. Okay, in a minute. I'm gonna go upstairs and talk to Brenda, and I'll be right back down. <laughs> All right, come on. Try to have some fun, you know? Much prettier when you smile, okay? some hunting in that oh in that story rifle work shotgun work oh my word you know rich people like to go hunting they like to go after animals like elephants and bison and stuff like that if animals could talk what would they say about being shot at and who would be the rudest one which animal would not take so well to being shot at by voicing their opinion which one do you What the hell? to get them to do something, they'll say, eh, get the fuck away from me, pal. That's rude. Mm. Or maybe a turtle the same way. The turtle, though, he can beat the rabbit. <laughs> about the times when you think you're there, but you're not there. It's almost as if you're invisible. Alexandra, 
Tell me something I want to hear. The Raymond Grant book. Did you get his daughter to sign on? Yes, well, sir, we actually had a really good meeting. I think we're going to get the deal. All right, very good. Give me your number so I can give her a ring. I actually didn't get her number. Alex, you spoke to Jasmine Grant today and you didn't get her number? Why? I didn't want to push it. She's going through a lot. I'll just give her some space. She has my card. Push it. We're all going through a lot. Do you have any idea how many publishers are knocking on that decrepit door to get to that book? This is a big deal. This book's going to be huge. What's it about, anyway? She doesn't even know. Raymond had deadlines, and he was constantly missing all the deadlines. For all we know, it could be a collection of just post-its. <laughs> right, post-its. Yeah, right, we were probably going to drop him anyway. Last couple films flopped at the box office, book sales tanked. He kept saying, I just need one, one more hit, and I'm back on top. Exactly. We all thought he just had a writer's block. You know, his best stuff was his early work. Towards the end, just like bands. One, three albums, after that, they all suck. Mm. Same thing. You know what happens to those bands when their front man dies? Everybody and their mother is clawing to get the last album because it might be worth something, even though they haven't had a hit in two decades. Hmm? No, yeah, you're right. You're right, I'll get onto it. When? Now. Perfect. That's what I want to hear. And if I didn't tell you that your job depended on this one, well, I'd be lying. So let me know. Okay. Well, those are the perils of being invisible. That's why they wear those yellow vests out on the highway, right? Uh, invisible man will never work on the highway. Oh, my. Anyway, uh, the question we need to address right now is, how many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? Hello? 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 Jasmine? Hello? Hello? Anyone home? Oye, ¿qué te pasa? ¿Qué tú haces en mi casa? Espérate, no suba por arriba. Um, would it take 500 um, elephant-sized chickens to kill an elephant-sized chicken? is going to take one elephant-sized chicken to kill an elephant. And that would be one big chicken when he picks earthquake time. Our next story is about a conference of scientists. It's a typical scientific meeting where some scientists are more welcome than others. Any perks of being a mad scientist, my darling. But you're not mad. No. You're not even annoyed. Mm. You're perky. Why the hell are you so perky? It's your birthday. 
That's his 50. Do I look 50? Uh, no, no, no. And you did not look 50 the other eight times we celebrated your 50th birthday either. Seven. I am 57. Do I look 58? Why can't you invent something useful like an anti-aging formula and not roller skates for squirrels? Well, I will admit to a bit of a dry period lately, but honestly, this cake is delicious. <gasps> Mr. Frankenstein. <laughs> Dr. Frankenstein, actually. Whatever. What is it this time? Uh, I was wondering if I could borrow a little power. Just a scooch. Power. That's all you mad scientists think about. Power. To rule the world. Well, I don't think you even have enough power to mow your lawn. Ah, yes. The depth weeds. Well, I promised to get to them next Tuesday. That was an experiment that went wrong. I'm sorry about the doc. What? Last week, it was a cup of sugar. The week before that, it was tea bags. Now this. What do you need my electricity for? Just to reanimate the dead. It's no biggie. Very low power consumption. Huh. Yeah, it's funny, actually. Funny story. I accidentally killed my wife, and, you know, I would like to see her back, so if I could just... Yeah, oh, uh, whatever. Thank you. What the bitch. She's alive! She's alive! <laughs> Uh, checking to see if you're alive again. Again? Did you fucking kill me? Just temporarily. You're a lot better now. Look, you sit up for uh, everything. You stabbed me? Oh my god, you better not have left a scar. <laughs> you look as quietly as ever. Where's the mirror? Where's the damned mirror? Well, there's 
one by the kitchen, there's another one in the bathroom to swim. We go this way. This is a nice big one. Victor, you motherfucker! I'm hideous! Uh, only on the outside. I mean, beauty's only skin deep. Oh, God. Oh, God, what has he done? Honey? What you doing? No, it's not so bad. Put a little makeup on. You'll be as beautiful as the day I met you. Honey? Honey boo boo? You must have tripped and accidentally swallowed all those pills, but do not worry. Threw them all out. You'll be just fine. Right. Yeah. An accident. I got a little surprise for you. What? Upstairs, I set up the VCR with all those tapes of you winning the beauty contest. I know how that cheers you up. Mm. We'll go upstairs and watch them, yeah? Come on. Honey, you are so excellent. Oh. By the way, I was thinking about how to deal with, let's call them blemishes on your face. And while you were away, I took an art class. And I think I was able to reconstruct your face really well. Oh, yeah? You fixed me. So you're telling me I'm as beautiful as I was before? Even better. And I got a perfect score from my art teacher. I don't know. Doesn't feel right. What artist did you study? Picasso. What the hell is this? I knew your affections for the cat were very strong, so. You attached Beefy to me? Don't you love it? Now you guys will never be separated. What the fuck is wrong with you? Wait, you don't like this? <sighs> Fifi? If that's Fifi, who the hell is this you've attached to me? I don't know. He was back by the dumpster. He's <laughs> so cute. Looks just like Fifi, doesn't it? Uh... Think of it as like a windshield wiper. You you grow used to it. Your friends will be jealous. Victor, stop bringing me back. But I love you. But I don't love living this way. What can I do to make you happy? You can make me beautiful again. But you already are beautiful. No, I'm not. You're the most beautiful woman that I know. I'm ugly. You're a masterpiece. Your delicate hands, hands. Your wonderful eyes, your beautiful smile. Your radiance knows no bounds. Do you really think so? I will certainly do, my darling. Then kiss me. What? Kiss me. If I'm not vile to look at, then make love to me. I... I mean... No. If I'm as beautiful as ever, then you should want to pounce on me right now. I... Uh, 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 are you sure you're in the mood, honey? Yes. Okay, so, you know, we could uh, watch television or something. Make me feel beautiful. Yeah, yeah, cool, 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 sure. Okay, okay, let's do this.
to go for you, baby. I should have made the daddy hole a little bit bigger. Oh, it's the balloon. It's the balloon. was amazing, baby. Oh, just like our wedding night. Yeah, I've definitely not aged one bit. Oh my god. Oh, I'll get it, baby. I ordered dinner. You just stay there and bask in the glory of my love. I'll get the dinner. Magic pizza. We deliver in less than five hours or your soda is half off. Ah, yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Honey, I'm just going to get some pizza. I'll put it in a blender for your food all. Let's see what we got here. How you doing, buddy? What's your name? Fuck off. Fuck off? Is that Russian? Fuck off? Say, there's something on your roof. Huh? couple of weeks, you'll get used to it. Besides, not only did you get your second hand back, but you have a third one as a spare. Hey, those are my lips. Ah, fuck off. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting. You're a very good kisser, though. <laughs> Nibbling on your ears is positively delicious. Victor. This has to stop. What? I can always get more pizza. What you think? He's the only pizza guy in the world, baby? No. I'm done. I want out. <sighs> okay, you want to go out? Well, let's see. We go to the park. If I go out the back door... I want good. a divorce. What? Look at me. Just look at me. Can you honestly tell me I'm beautiful? Honestly? I'm not gonna lie. It's taking a little bit to get used to your new features, but you know, I'm getting there, getting there. We all change physically. It's not the physical things that are important, though. I did not fall in love with you for your beauty alone. I fell in love with you for your kindness and your sense of humor and the way you cheered me up when my experiments went wrong and you had to do that wider bit. Am I kidding? No. The heart does not use the eyes to see true beauty cannot be reflected in the mirror. I love you, the real you, the deep down inside you. Nothing will change that, ever. You know, they call me a mad scientist. Well, yes, I am that. I'm mad about you. You know what? I have a cousin who's a plastic surgeon. I'm sold. Goodbye, Victor. Have a nice life. Wait. Wait, what? 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 Wait. 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 A monster. Kill it.
great read. You, you must be, are you, are, are you representing Jasmine? I will have my people talk to Jasmine. You, you must be, wait for her, right? Okay, I, I really have to go. Mean, darling, fantastic seeing you. Thank you, thank you. We here at Snake Oil Publishing, we love the book. We just loved it. You actually read it? Well, n no, but I talked to my people on the phone and they could not stop screaming about it. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I talked to the distributors and they say the new Raymond Castle book is gonna be huge. Oh, that's great news. Yeah, we're gonna have tons of copies in Walmart, in Barnes and Noble. It's gonna be the next Goosebumps. Oh, that's good, good. This book, it's gonna be killer. Well, I hope so.